Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday. It's April 8th. Happy new moon solar eclipse. And we're going to do an angel message reading about the new moon and solar eclipse. Um, see what advice we get, what's coming. And we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, do thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's start with the wisdom of the oracle. And I'll show you guys what blew off the top of my deck is relocating a physical move. So for those of you that have, that have been manifesting a relocation, it's it's coming. We're gonna call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone send me a will, get the order action towards myself or the viewer. We call on the Holy Spirit. Angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors for the new moon and the solar eclipse. What does the collective need to be aware of? It's getting windy. New moon, solar eclipse. Come to the edge. A brand new leap of faith. Card number 36. This is closing out of the cycles. Closing out cycles and taking a brand new leap of faith. That's amazing. New moon, solar eclipse. Going through a huge transformation. We go from the 9 to the 10. Finally, being free of a past cycle and moving on, transforming your life. That's beautiful. New moon, solar eclipse. Mending, healing, putting the pieces back together, starting over. Card number 52, a change in your luck, reduces to a seven. This is serendipity. This is fated to happen. You have divine assistance here. You have the angels working in the background in your favor, helping you to put the pieces in your life back together. But not just back together. Back together in a way that is stable. That leads you to an abundant life. Solar eclipse, new moon. What do they need to know, please? To the sea, moving on. Embracing the energy of peace. Some of you could be actually relocating that's beautiful. Card number seven, seven, seven. That's awesome. You may be seeing seven, seven, seven. This is definitely a change in your luck. Yeah. Exchanging gifts. Card number nine. You are closing out this cycle from the past is putting you in the energy of receiving your blessings because you learn this lesson. Yeah. You were honest with yourself and you were honest with others. Truth be told, this could represent truth being revealed, which we did see in the previous reading for the collective new moon and solar eclipse new moon and solar eclipse a change is in the wind change is occurring card number 12 reduced to a three this is divine intervention is this change please holy spirit holy angel saints spirit guides and ancestors what's this change Yeah, some of you are going to make a big decision. And this big decision could have to do with moving on, time to go, relocating, leaving one place, going to another, or this is energetic. But whatever it is in this decision that you make that is a big decision, it brings in your blessings when you make it. Wow, I love it. Anything else? Solar eclipse, new moon. Wow, wow, and wow. Yeah. You saw through the facade, you saw through the illusion of fake people that were wearing a mask. They've been exposed. Their masks are falling off. You're staying in the present moment and the changes you have made are going the distance because you're in divine love energy. You are divinely guided, okay? Uh, let's see what else you wanna do here. Do this one. No. All right. Let's get some of this advice. Also, guys, if you're interested in scheduling, I do have a couple appointments for this week left. Not many, but you can schedule for next week um, if you miss out on this week. Just make sure you schedule soon. And you can find those links in the bio of TikTok and YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, please subscribe. You can watch my full-length videos there, and I have been doing longer readings. Also, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can also find that link in the bio of TikTok and description of YouTube. Advice for the collective for the solar eclipse and new moon. All right. So far, we got 
Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. You're here to express yourself. You're here to create. It's card number one. It's a new beginning for you. Past life emotions lives in you. You are expressing more and it's releasing. The more that you are your true authentic self, the more you speak what comes from the heart, what you're guided to speak, you are releasing. You are releasing the past. Remember, love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now. Living in a space of love and gratitude, regardless of how much you have, is going to bring more of what you want into your life. One is manifesting, 23 is change, six is peace and harmony being restored in your life. Trust what you need is there. With love, all can be accomplished. This changes your luck. Seven, it's like your fate and destiny, serendipity, the wheel of fortune. Solar eclipse and new moon energy. All is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. This change, 32 again, reduced to a five. You might be seeing triple fives at this time because big changes are definitely happening for the collective that are in divine light energy. getting a workout feel and release release all you've accumulated on this journey you are definitely releasing i'm leaving that you are definitely releasing you are your greatest gift your life's journey is your masterpiece you've been in training all this trauma you've been through you've been in training for what god was preparing you for which is creative and expressive you were meant to help guide other people from your past experiences so you were definitely in training Oh my goodness. This says stay the course. You're moving in the right direction. You're being led and you're being guided and you're moving in the right direction. So keep going. Keep going. Don't worry about the haters out there. You're always going to have haters. I don't care who you are. You know, you're always going to have people that are jealous and envious of you. Stay strong and be a guiding light. Ground yourself and be loved. The energy of love is the highest vibration. That is also card number 14, which reduces to a five. We have three fives out here. Five, five, five. I told you a big change is coming. Big change. Okay, we got two. I'll leave it at that. The bottom of the deck says time to do it differently. You're going beyond what you have done before. God has called you to do something completely different than you have ever done before. And he wants you to take the risk. He wants you to do it. Walk your own journey. It's essential to stay your own, on your own path. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks about what you do. That's between you and God, your personal relationship with God. Let the haters hate. Let the haters run their mouth. It doesn't matter. You stay in the energy of love. Explore, love, and create. The only thing that holds you back is you. Don't let people limit what it is you're being called to do because they are in fear. That's on them. Whew. All right, guys, let me see. Let's see what else we got. For the full moon, or sorry, new moon and solar eclipse energy. What does the collective need to be aware of? New moon, solar eclipse. Gratitude. Gratitude is what is restoring peace and harmony in your life. You are grateful for everything, even the hard times, even the pain that you endure. You are grateful because it's leading you to where you want to go, which is being your true authentic self, being a free spirit, not being put in a box by people that are broken, insecure, and afraid of you being true to you. That sounds like a personal problem and it's not your problem. You're gonna be celebrating. Being in this free spirit energy, you're gonna be celebrating your life. Again, we have two sixes here, peace and harmony being restored. A personal choice you made to work through your fears, to do your healing work, past trauma, allowed you to close the cycle out. See, people that are judging you, they are cowards. They are too afraid to face their shadow, to face who they are and what they have done and heal so that they don't go around hurting other people. They would rather project on you. You're meant to shine. This is your justice. Card number 29, reduced to 11. You are meant to shine. You are a light in this world and this world needs a lot of light. Trust me. Yeah, you learned your self-worth. 
who can stop you now, now that you know how valuable and amazing you are and God supports you. Nobody can stop you. God's for you. He can be against you. Yeah, balance is being restored because you operate in the energy of integrity. You are your true authentic self. You owned up to any mistakes you made. You forgave others and you forgave yourself. Oh, man, I just lost my cards. Ugh. Somebody is, somebody is feeling out of sorts. Somebody is messed up because of your self-love, self-worth. Somebody is feeling destroyed because they couldn't destroy your life. You collected me to know. New moon, solar eclipse, please. New moon, solar eclipse. You collected me to know. Be fear fearless and stand strong. You are a warrior. See from a higher perspective. You have seen beyond the illusions and the mass that people project. You know which path you're on. You don't need validation, so their projection doesn't work on you because you're not seeking their approval. You don't need it. You know who you are. You're a high priestess. It says harness mystic powers. You're being guided and called to use your gifts by God. So you don't care about any projections that anyone's trying to cast your way. You, you can feel it, you can sense it, and you release it. Trust in higher forces. You do trust in God. You know that God's guiding you. You have divine wisdom. You're an old soul. You've been here and done this so many times with your past karmic people even. You're starting to remember that energy too. Like, oh, yeah, I've been through this in a past life. That was a demon in a past life trying to come after me. They want you to be open to healing information. You are receiving the knowledge that you need. God is giving you the clarity that you need when you need it. Even if you don't have all the answers, God wants you to rely on your intuition. Trust the intuition. Uh, trust the messages you're receiving. Yeah, they said protection guardian, drop your shield. You don't have to be on the defense because the angelic realm is protecting you because you're a seer. You are on a divine mission. God sent you here. God awakened you for a reason. You can see beyond the current situation because you have higher knowledge. You're connected with divine source energy. You know what's up. For the collective. They want you to focus on taking care of your needs. Don't worry about taking care of anyone else but you. Take care of your needs, okay? Trust your talents in changing times. Yeah. God wants you to trust in your spiritual gifts. They are from him. Shape, shift, or transform and unveil your gifts. Be free to unveil your gifts, to use your gifts. Unlock the magic within. Honor your inner knowing. Honor your spiritual gifts. Let people laugh. Let them joke. Let them mock. They answer to God. They answer to God. You know, when they stand before God, and God says, you did X, Y, Z to this soul that I sent on this planet to help other people. They're not going to have a rebuke for that. They're not going to be able to defend themselves in God's eyes. That is a sin against the Holy Spirit. When God gives someone a gift and asks someone to use that gift to help other people, and you try to destroy them, you have sinned against the Holy Spirit. That's a dangerous game to play. That could, that's, a, that's a game that could... You could lose your soul. Is it worth it? Is it worth losing your soul? All right, let's do some from the Rider Waite guys. And if you guys have been sending me messages or emails, just give me some time. It's going to take me time to get through my emails. I have a lot of them. Um, and I've been super busy. So just be patient with me. I love you guys. And I'm grateful for all your love, support, all of your donations. Your kind words, it means the world to me. Thank you. All right. For the new moon solar eclipse, any advice for the collective? The tower is falling. The tower is falling. What's this tower for the new moon solar eclipse? <sighs> Sorry, guys. So, the tower is falling on this, 
breadcrumber that's a love bomber. Whoever was in your energy in the past that was given to multiples, breadcrumbing you in this uh, gaslighting energy, the tower's fallen. New moon solar eclipse for the collective. Yeah, this is a deceiver, a cheater, a liar, and a snake. This keeps coming out. I'm telling you something big's happening to these karmic energies. Something big is happening. New moon solar eclipse, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Yep, this is financial ruin. This could be a family dynamic breaking up. This is massive financial loss for this cheater, this liar, this snake. Man, you know, this person, they're continuing to make all these plots and plans on ways they could win at all costs. This is why this tower is falling in such a massive way. They have not given up. They keep doing it. And that's why they're under judgment. They have created this tsunami, this huge storm in their life because they refused to do the right thing. They refused to stop coming after you. They kept doing it over and over and over again. And God has warned them. Yeah, you're planting good seeds. You're in alignment. God's protecting you. You have your boundaries up and you're being led toward victory and success. Despite all of these games that people are playing in your life. Yeah, you're just moving on. No sweat off your back. You're like, mm, whatever. Do what you gotta do. You're not affecting me at all. Do what you gotta do. Why? Because you're healed and you're making new investments. Worthy investments. You're not investing in, in people like this. You have no, no interest. New moon, solar eclipse. New moon, solar eclipse. Yeah, somebody's trapped, bound. Could be a high priestess in reverse or they are trapped or bound to the high priestess in reverse. A witchy woman. Someone that taps into lower vibrational energies, dark entities. This, this person has attachments, I feel. Yeah, jealous. Wanting in competition with you. In competition because they're insecure. They don't feel worthy. They don't feel good enough. Yeah, this is the third party, I believe. Yeah, playing the victim and going around creating injustices in people's lives. Yeah. You know, the same illusion that they've projected this, this third party is what's going to take them down. The very lies that they have told is what's going to take them down. But I can't make it up, guys. The sort of truth. The very lies and illusions that they have projected is the same thing that's going to take them down because the truth is going to be exposed. All the manipulation. It's, gonna, it's coming in quick. This can be by way of social media. This can be the news. This can be messages, emails. Mm. Nope, too many. New moon, solar eclipse. Yep, moon in reverse. All the lies are being revealed. Everything is coming to light. Everything. Look at that. Somebody that was juggling. This is an imbalanced energy. This person could be mentally imbalanced. The truth is coming out about everything that they have done. Everything. There could be a queen of wands involved um, that's going through a significant ending. This is the karmic partner trying to have strength now. But it's too late for them. Yeah, see, they're in the soul connection. It's a karmic connection. And they've been trying to hide the, the truth. They've been trying to hide it. Um, but it's coming out. 
It could be a Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords. They're going to go through massive endings. Yeah, it's being illuminated. Uh, the cycle's being closed. You're the Queen of Swords. You're speaking the truth. This is good news for you because you knew the truth. People didn't believe it and you didn't care because you knew God was going to expose the truth. Wow, that's crazy. All right, guys, this is your angel message reading for the new moon solar eclipse. I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.